Hey guys, Gord Bamford here, your host for the next 60 minutes. As we celebrate Father's Day, and I bring you my first Father's Day special. We'll have some special guests on here, including my daughter Paisley, who will be up here soon, which I'm very excited about, as well as country superstars Tennille Towns, the Hunter Brothers, Mackenzie Porter, Kelsey Kulak, Madison Kozak, current NHLer, and great guy Brent Burns, and my good friend, Hockey Hall of Famer Mark Recchi. As well, we will have a, a little appearance uh, by my good writing buddy there in Nashville, Mr. Buddy Owens. Uh, and we'll be sharing some great music, personal stories, and intimate moments that really, that really embody what Father's Day is all about. On top of all that, we're raising funds for uh, the Gord Bamford Foundation, which has raised just over $4 million in the last four years. So grab yourself a bubbly, sit back, and join me and my friends as we celebrate Father's Day. We hope you enjoy it. guest I've known for a long time. She's a, a down-to-earth, down-home country girl from Grand Prairie, Alberta, and uh, she is making a name for herself uh, not only in Canada but down in the States. She's representing uh, Canadians really well in America and we wish her nothing but continued success down there. Um, so thank you to Neil Towns for being part of this show. 
Hey, it's Tennille Towns here. Just wanting to wish a very happy Father's Day to all the awesome dads out there. Um, missing being with mine today, but glad for FaceTimes and things that still bring us closer. And um, yeah, what a good day to celebrate the dads that we get to look up to. Um, I remember singing this song in the garage with my dad. He, we had that little yellow radio um, with the handle on the side and the big antenna and uh, the spot for, I think, two cassettes. And um, we would listen to the song over and over, just hanging out in the garage. And uh, I miss those days and love those good, good memories. So here's a little piece. <laughs> actually started playing guitar a few years ago and so now we get to literally play it together which is pretty awesome so um now we love playing that song without the little yellow radio but um happy father's day to uh, all the great dads out there we sure appreciate you bye hey what's up you guys it's adam hambrick i uh, just want to take a second and wish a big happy father's day to all the fathers out there um being a dad is a job that's just never done and it's a job of immense responsibility from the time that you bring your kids home from the hospital to the time that they walk out of your house. Um, you're always a dad. And it's a switch that never flips off. The job is never done. Uh, so for all you dads out there, you work tirelessly every day, care for your kids, and show them that you care. Thank you. Um, I got to say a big thank you to my dad for doing that same thing. Everything I know about being a dad, uh, I learned from him. And so, uh, so I hope you enjoy your Father's Day. Hope you get some good time with your families. Um, be safe and happy Father's Day. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Six to 
Father's Day mean to me, uh, it just means being an example, um, being a great leader, um, loving your kids, uh, showing your kids how to navigate through life um, in the best way as possible. And it just means to just be a, you know, a great you know, figure, a father figure um, to not only your children, but children all around the world. So happy Father's Day to all the amazing dads out there. Thank you. Uh, we're just kind of doing a little gathering here and just had supper and wanted to say hello Father's Day out there to all the fathers that are that are out there. Congratulations, you guys have done well. <laughs> You've made it this far. So um, yeah, it's just this is the family here. So we got Nash and Paisley in Memphis and my wife Kendra. And where's the dog? Where's the dog at? Harley, come here. Come here. He's not coming. Come on. Well, we don't have the dog here yet, but here she is. Come here, Ross. Ash grammar. <laughs> come here, Hulk. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. So we got the dog. So we got Harley. Then and the deal with the dog was I I grew up on a farm, so I uh I was like no dogs in the house and my little little Memphis there kinda of twisted my rubber arm, so now I'm love the dog, so we're I guess I'm not that hard a hard a dad. Who do you love more, your dad or that dog? My dog. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the real honest yeah, answers there here. There we go. Are you not? You can't. Are you serious? You're not serious, are you? Honey? No. no Paisley, Hi. you sing with your dad on stage a lot. Yeah, a little bit. So is the music, what do you think? Is that from listening to him or do you just have this natural love for him? Uh, I think both probably, but like, I don't know, I think both. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like listening to him sing or is it the, Um. Kind of, it gets old a little bit. Like, <laughs> like it's kind of annoying if you hear it like after a while. But I mean, when I'm at his concert and stuff, I'll listen to it. But I don't just listen to it on my own with my headphones. <laughs> Do you like working out with your pops? Um, you know, we have our battles, that's for sure. But 
it's uh, it uh, escalates if we're not doing workouts properly or if we're scrapping in the gym but at the end of the day we usually figure out our problem and start new the next day. <laughs> Has he had to tune you in yet? Yeah, a few times, yeah. No, yeah, that's good. That's good for you. You know why dads do that? Because they want the best for you. There you go. There you go. This next segment is sponsored by ATB Financial. I met my next guest down in Nashville. I was uh, having uh, a dinner with uh, a friend of mine by the name of John Marks. The San Jose Sharks were in town and, and two guys walked in with big beards and and one was uh, Jumbo Joe Thornton and the other was uh, Brent Burns. And, and I just got up and introduced myself because I was fans. And you know, this uh, this guy is just so down to earth and I've got to know him the last year and, and uh, very proud to know him. And I feel like could go down as one of the best uh, defensemen ever play the game, you know, in the NHL. So uh, a huge thanks uh, to him for being a part of the show. And I'd like to welcome Brent Burns. What's up, guys? Brent Burns here. This is my son Jagger, almost nine years old. Birthday's coming up. Uh, why don't you tell everybody what it's like uh, for you during this quarantine and me being home a little bit more than usual. It's been awesome. We've been going to the shooting range, hunting, going on some family rides. It's been really nice. Nice, yeah, we've been getting a little bit more outdoorsy. We're usually not here at this time because you're usually in school. Yeah. But we had uh, the homeschool in here, huh? Yeah. How'd that go? Pretty good. Trying to get smarter every day, try to get better, pushing my limits and everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was, uh, did you read that somewhere? Where'd you get that answer from? Mm -hmm. That sounded like it was like from a motivational book or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, here's another addition. Uh, Peyton was outside doing some work. So this is my daughter, Peyton. She's 10 years old. Um, here's a tough question for you. Tell us what your life has been like during the quarantine and you know, how different is it having me home? Well, now we're in the summer, so it's like kind of normal, but before. Um. It felt weird because since I was home, I never really got to see my friends. And when I was in Texas, I didn't get to see much family. Yeah, because the quarantine, we're, we're here alone, right? And yeah. this place is usually full of family members all the time, right? Yeah, and it felt weird with you home because I normally don't really get you. A yeah, lot. a lot during the season, right? Yeah. And then you're doing your, your gymnastics and schoolwork and I'll see you at night. When we are home, I'm home. Yeah. But then I go on the road for a while. Yeah. That's normal. Good answer. <laughs> One, two, three, four.
with no pair of boots in a truck I buy cheese champagne and caviar I'm a beer in a dive bar This segment was sponsored by ATB Financial. I'm really excited to have this next guest on the show with me. Uh, her star has been rising since her debut album released last year, and it's going nowhere but up. Please welcome Madison Kozak. Hey guys, it's Madison Kozak here. I am so honored to be a part of the Real Country Living Father's Day special. Thank you to Gord Bamford for inviting me to be a small part in helping to raise money for youth-based charities across Canada, especially during this difficult time. I hope this video finds everybody well though. Happy Father's Day to all the dads and granddads out there. I wanted to sing a song that I thought is pretty fitting for the occasion, especially because it was a Father's Day gift I had for my dad uh, three years ago. So I was running short of a gift and because I live in Nashville and he lives in Ontario, I figured this would be a practical way to get something to him. So I sat down with a couple of my favorite co-writers in town, James Slater and Claire Douglas, and just recalled all of these pictures from my childhood, thinking about the way that my dad raised me, the man that I know him to be, and put it to music. So this is called First Last Name. Um, you can find it anywhere you stream music, and I hope you can find a bit of your story in this too. Here we go. of a crier till I'm halfway out the drive I, I he's the son of a salesman short glass old fashioned how's your car been running lately call your mama when you get home safely saw a dust and stain my heart my John Wayne my first last name From a long line of tradition We were guitars in the kitchen You're either singing or doing dishes You wash, I'll dry We were truck stop Coca-Colas Vine along Victrola Tie a swing magnolia Taught me how to fly. I, I, he's the son of a salesman. Short glass, old fashioned. How's your car been running late? Call your mama when you get home safely. In my hall of fame, he's never missed a game. My food. Last name Ooh. Ooh. Ah, yeah. yeah, he set the bar real high But I met a real good guy Still not much of a crier Till we're halfway down the aisle I He's the son of a salesman Short glass, old fashioned How's your car been running lately? Stop on by, bring the baby People they say I'm more like 
like him every day He can give me away But no one can take My first Last Name Happy to have a good friend of mine on the show tonight. Uh, he's a hockey hall of famer, um, one of the one of the best guys. Uh, has a great family, great great dad, great brothers, and so excited to have him. And thank thanks for coming on the show, um, Rex. So um, here's Mark Recky. Hey there, I'm Mark Recky. First off, I just want to wish all the fathers uh, a great uh, Father's Day. Hope. Uh, Hope it's an enjoyable one as, as I will have. And uh, now I'd like to introduce my family. I got uh, my oldest, Christina Recchi. Christina, Isabella at the corner there. I got Samantha, Austin, Cameron, and Brendan. And uh, they're uh, they're my life. And it's uh, you know they're amazing kids. And um, glad we get to share Father's Day. had our backs our whole life. He's always been there for us. He's all our role models. He's done whatever we needed for us. Yep, and he's also our best friend. He's not only our dad. He's, he's, you can talk to him about anything. I personally talk to him. I'm graduating college this year and I talk to him about seven times a day so I think it shows what kind of a dad and person he is and that goes the same for all the kids. We love him to death. Hey guys, Gord Bamford back with you here. I, I uh, hope you're enjoying the show. And uh, if you're still watching, I guess that means you're having a good time. The Gord Bamford Foundation has been going for just over 13 years. And, and it's, uh, to be honest with you, one of the most proudest things I, I've ever done. And uh, if you don't mind, I'd just like to take a moment to show you a little bit uh, of background work of what, what the Gord Bamford Foundation does. Zero. Would you look at that? To date, so far, not including what we're going to raise tomorrow, $4,039,713. I can't explain how this thing evolved into what it is. It's just uh, mind-blowing, really, and, and obviously something for me that I'm extremely proud of. A lot of the areas where we focus our money have definitely had an impact on my life somewhere. Our little girl Memphis, when she was born, was born with a very bad defect. What those doctors did in, in Calgary um, that day was uh, it's a little tough to talk about, but it was, was incredible. And, and um, ever since that day, I had a whole new respect for who heroes in life really were. There's some unbelievable stories of, of courage and healing that have come from music and I've seen it firsthand. The legacy we want to build when we're, when we're done with all this is the fact that we've given back to many different people across Canada and most importantly, you know, made an impact on children and, and their lives. I love the stories that come out of it. I love the smiles on the people's faces. Uh, I just encourage artists to go out there and give back. I think if we do more of that, our country's going to be better off and we're going to, you know, hopefully create some more Celine Dion's in Canada. Or Gord Bamford's, whatever. <laughs> now that you've seen a little bit of uh, what the Gord Bamford Foundation does, um, I'm asking you to, uh, if you can, reach out and support us tonight and uh, throughout the year as we uh, give back to you know people in need. As you can see, I'm a very proud Canadian, and uh, uh, all our funds stay right here in Canada, which is very, very important to me. And uh, if you'd like to make a donation, any donation counts. Uh, just head to the Gord Bamford Foundation.com and, and uh, you can make a donation there. And uh, for those of you who watched or watching, thank you. And for those of you who are donating, thank you very much. Uh, it means a lot to us. Hey guys, it's Mackenzie Porter, and I am currently in Nashville, Tennessee at home, self isolating with this little nugget and my fiance, Jake Etheridge. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to say during these really 
hard and trying times. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and positive. Um, since it's Father's Day coming up, one of the moments that I really remember with my dad was when I was a little girl, he would always come down into my bedroom at night to tuck me in and bring me a glass of water, and he would always sing a song before bed. And it was usually um, either Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton or The Gambler by Kenny Rogers. And it was just a moment that I always like looked forward to every night as a kid, and every time that I hear those songs, it instantly reminds me of my dad and takes me back to that moment. Um, so I hope that everyone gets to spend their day with their dads or their grandpas or any other role model or father figure in their life. And I just hope you really take a day to appreciate them and thank them for everything they've done for us because they've done so much. So thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the show. Two, three, four. I should have held on tight, can't get her off my mind. She moved me, she led me up like a fire, burning through the neon smoke. She stole my heart, she haunts my soul like a ghost, burning through the neon smoke. Hi, I'm Thomas Nicholas. I hope everyone's staying safe during these crazy, unprecedented times. Um, obviously, we still have all of our, you know, birthdays and holidays. And on Father's Day, which is coming up, uh, I usually think about my mom. Um, my mom raised me as a single parent, so she was both parents to me. Um, and yeah, I don't know how she did it because my wife and I uh, have our hands full with our, our two kids. So, you know, we got that one-on-one -on -one ratio. My mom was just there by herself. I hope that you get to spend uh, the day with the father figure in your life, or at least FaceTime with them, and make sure that you tell them how grateful you are for everything they've done for you. So, enjoy the rest of the show. Our next guest I'm a big fan of. I uh, met her about a year ago. She's uh, an incredible singer-songwriter, and... Uh, her star is on the rise, no doubt. 
uh, performing a brand new original song. Welcome Kelsey Kulik. Hey everyone, it's Kelsey Kulik here. I just want to send a quick happy Father's Day to all of the dads out there, especially mine who has been there for me since day one. This song that I'm going to play is a song that I wrote with Jeffrey Trott called Who I Was, and I hope you guys like it. When I met you, it's like you stole all of my breath. Like a wildfire, you consumed me till there was nothing left. We played house for a while till you burned the whole house down. And I thought that it was my fault, that it was me who let us down. Thought it was love, but it wasn't Guess I messed up on my judgment of it Thought I needed you in my life Couldn't live without your touch So I gave you who you wanted But that wasn't who I was Kind of got lost in the way you made me feel. Hid my head under the sheet to hide my heart from what was real. No, you never wanted me. You just only saw yourself. It almost killed me from morning. Thought it was love, but it wasn't. Guess I messed up.
shot like you've never seen. What's even better is a little bit later. I might just get lucky with my drinking buddy. She's got tight blue jeans, long blonde hair, and she's a cowboy thing. She can knock them back shot for shot like you've never seen. Just get lucky with my drinking buddy. What's even better is a little bit later. I might just get lucky with my drinking buddy. Yeah. This guy's one of my favorite guys on the planet, and uh, he has uh, got talent oozing out of him. He can paint, he can sing, he can write. And he sounds like Merle Haggard, and he's uh, one of my best friends. Please welcome Buddy Owens. If you were a robin, I'd be a tree, a shelter for your wings to hide. If you were a river, I'd be the sea, a place you can run anytime. When love leaves you lost on some road to nowhere, I'll find you and carry you home. When life leaves you searching for someone to care, I'll be the reason you're never alone. So always be sure, be steady and free, and know you were born to be you. And being your father, my sweet angel daughter, is the best thing that I'll ever do. I've seen prayers answered, had extra to give, married the love of my life. Made a heck of a living, but I never lived till the moment I looked in your eyes. Love leaves you lost on some road to nowhere I'll find you and carry you home If love leaves you searching for someone to care I'll be the reason you're never alone So always be sure, be steady and free And know you were born to be you and being your father, my sweet angel daughter's the best thing that I'll ever do. Yeah, being your father, my sweet angel daughter's the best thing that I'll ever do. This segment is sponsored by Arctic Spas. I gotta say, I'll never forget the first time I seen these guys. It was in the uh, Regina, Saskatchewan, the Country Music Awards uh, after party. Their manager, Ron Kitchener, was there and said he was working with these guys. And uh, man, I was absolutely blown away. <laughs> and I, the minute I seen these guys, I said, I said, these guys are gonna go places. And they're down home, uh, hockey playing, farming uh, country boys from Saskatchewan. And uh, they are very, very, very good. And they're killing it out there. And uh, I want to thank all, all of them for being part of this show. Um, so uh, let's give it up for them. Here's the Hunter Brothers. Hey, everybody, we're the Hunter Brothers, and we're coming at you from our family farm here in Shaunavon, Saskatchewan. And we just want to encourage all of you to donate tonight to the Gord Bamford Foundation uh, to help support kids who are need this Father's Day season. Tonight, we wanted to dedicate a very special rendition of our song, When You Love a Girl, to the Cause. Every dollar counts. My life was so simple when I was just living for me. Didn't know what was missing, drumming to my own beat. But if life is a song, what's a song when there's no harmony? Then you 
came along and you showed me how good it can be. When you love a girl, it will change everything, rock your whole world. When all of a sudden she's all that you want, all that you need, and makes you so strong, makes you weak in the knees when she smiles. Yeah, you do anything, lay down your life in the blink of an eye, 'cause no matter the cost, you know you'd walk through fire for her. When you love a girl. Myself now, how did I ever do this alone? 'Cause since I've been holding you, I never wanna let go. Yeah, without you, my heart is a half that could never be whole. I couldn't settle for less, baby. Now that I know. Change everything, rock your whole world. When all of a sudden she's all that you want, all that you need, and makes you so strong, makes you weak in the knees when she smiles. Yeah, you'd do anything, lay down your life in the blink of an eye. 'Cause no matter the cost, you know you'd walk through fire for her. Change everything, rock your whole world. When all of a sudden she's all that you want, all that you need, and makes you so strong, makes you weak in the knees when she smiles. Yeah, you do anything, lay down your life in the blink of an eye. 'Cause no matter the cost, you know you'd walk through fire for her. This segment was sponsored by Arctic Spas. Hey guys, Eric Etheridge here, and I just wanted to wish you all a very happy Father's Day. I also wanted to thank my good buddy Gord Bamford and Anthem Records for having me on the Father's Day special this year. Although I'm not a dad yet, I know that my dad was a huge positive force in my life and helped shape the person that I am today. So thank you to all the dads out there for doing what you do, and make sure you enjoy this weekend. You deserve it. I've got a special guest here. This happens to be my daughter. This is Paisley, and uh, I'm proud of her. She's been um, doing a few things on her own, video-wise. We've been doing some songs on the internet. They've been blowing up, and uh, she's starting to get a little more comfortable. So she's uh, agreed to be part of this Father's Day special, which is pretty pretty uh, cool for dad. And uh, what song are you gonna do? Um, Neon yeah, Moon by Brooks and Dunn. One of dad's favorites. And who else covered it? Casey Musgraves. That's kind of your favorite, eh? Yeah. You ready? Mm, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. When the sun goes down on my side of town, that lonesome feeling comes to my door, and the whole world turns blue. Run. 
excited about this next song it's a brand new song and uh, you know it really symbolizes what Father's Day means to me and um, I want to thank Phil O'Donnell for bringing this song to me he, he actually played it for me and uh, when I heard it I just kind of got chill bumps running up and down my arms and um, they actually let me kind of rewrite the song to kind of fit me a little bit and, and uh, I became a co-writer of this song and um, which I really appreciate because um, when I first heard this song I just automatically made me think about my kids you know it's uh, it can be for a, a boy or a girl and um, you know I've had songs in the past little guy and my daughter's father and about the kids um, so this is like you know a decade later here's another one and um, I'm just excited to debut this song on the show and, and worldwide on social media and uh, I hope you like it it's called Father's Prayer mm. Two, three, four. I hope you like old guitars as much as I do. Hope you find some wisdom in your old man's room. Hope you grow to know love is real and shiny things and money ain't no big deal and I hope you have a little talk with Jesus anytime you think the world don't treat you fair hope you know when you need me I'm on Hey guys, Gord Bamford here, your host of our Father's Day special, and uh, just want to thank you guys so much for watching it. This is our first uh, special, and I want to thank all our friends and 
celebrities and artists for participating in this. Uh, it meant a lot to me and I hope uh, it meant a lot to you as well. Um, it's pretty cool to be talking about our, our kids and our, and our dads. So uh, thank you so much. Thanks to our sponsors. And especially want to thank our broadcast partners, Bell Media, iHeartRadio, and Pure Country Radio for partnering with us. And we hope, uh, we're hope we hoping to make this uh, Father's Day an annual show, this Father's Day special, which would be very cool. Um, but until then, thanks for tuning in. And uh, can't wait to get back on the road. Everybody stay safe out there. And we will see you soon.